So I'll, I'll start it off by asking you, the elections ended this year and a pro-military party led by the generals who kind of instigated the coup remained in power, as kind of said in that documentary. For Thailand's artists, has anything really changed? <laughs> um, I think, I'm not sure what, I mean, I don't know what to say because it seemed that we going deeper and deeper in the, the tunnel. We not go out. We go deeper and deeper and darker and darker. So I, I see no hope at the moment. Sorry to say, to admit that, you know, and um, in, the, in, in, a, I mean, a, in the past year, that under the military, and I know that this is um, because it, it's so complicated, uh, the situation, because you have the military uh, control, and on top of that, we have the monarchy. Yes, because your documentary never touched yet, because <laughs> any, <laughs> because when I, I, I watch uh, uh, the uh, Ajarasila news reporting about the king, and then suddenly, king, shop from the screen, and they say, oh, sorry for technical you know, problem, that you won't be able to watch the news. And after that, it blank for maybe a couple minutes, and then it come, it, it come back. That what happened even today, even today, I mean, I'm watching, uh, I want to see uh, what uh, Al Jazeera or BBC uh, are talking about uh, the coronation. And suddenly the news about the king, new king, that we're celebrating the new king, and then chop. So nobody wants to know about our king or any news about what the uh, uh, inter international community talking about our monarchy. And then suddenly, no, we don't want to know. My country, my, let's say the people in the power um, didn't want to know, didn't want to hear what other uh, news report, I mean international news report about our own country. So I got shocked, I mean, say, come on, we passed the election and then what's going on? So we, ha we haven't been back to normal. And as long as, especially, I talk to you like this because I'm in, in Malaysia, I'm not in Thailand. And I know that uh, the element of the, the monarchy is still one of the most, uh, let's say, problem to, the, I mean, to Thailand. Because this issue is going to be even bigger than the army. And that is why I, th I, I can say that, because why I say I have no hope, because it's not just only a Bayut, the military, I mean, the prime minister, but behind it, it's higher than that. This is uh, something that I, I, I can see that I don't know what to do. And people say, oh, you don't know that, maybe when the crown prince became a king, he might be a different person. But then after that, he, got, he became king. And I still see that, oh, he never changed. And, and now he become, uh, became is more absolute. He, he tried to bring back the absolute monarchy by confiscating many palaces that taken by the, uh, I mean, after the 1932, now many palaces at that time, you know, confiscated by the, uh, um, the, uh, the uh, People Party and make the office of ministry office. And now he reclaimed everything. And then the, the uh, military government allowed him to do that. And even the Sioux, the zoo, uh, I say, how come the king never have sympathy to the animal? And then the, uh, he forced 
to remove the animal out of the zoo as soon as possible when he became the king. And the zoo went really far away. I feel sorry because the zoo that I had been there when I was shy, uh, I mean, this is the most uh, important uh, learning, I mean, uh, uh, um, space for, for the children. And now the king taken away and not, nobody know what's going on to the, uh, the, the land. So, and, and many things, then no one talk about that. I don't know whether you can talk about that. I don't think people in Thailand can see your program anyway when I, I talk about it. I might have a problem when I go back. But anyway, the thing is, um, we should be able to talk every issue that matter to the people. <coughs> this is the most important. That is about the democracy. But I, I don't have the ill intention to the monarchy. But I think also the monarchy have to be open to listen what people reflect or talk about. You know, if you, if you don't let people to reflect or talk about, and then how can we become a family? What kind of family we are? Because otherwise we, 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 not, uh, we, we won't be able to be a, a democratic uh, society if we don't be able to talk. And, and that's why, I mean, I, I try to find a way how to speak about this issue. Uh, my, my, last, uh, my last show in 2017, I think I made a uh, series about the, uh, the, the prisoner from uh, during the uh, 19th century when the, uh, the King Rama V, um, uh, early, the early 20th century when the King Rama V uh, tried to centralize Thailand. So they have, you know, many ethnic groups, they be, uh, became labeled. And, and at that time, I found uh, the old uh, archive photo, which is no information about that uh, uh, photograph. It's about 16 print of the uh, uh, Thai, Yai, Thai Yai ethnic group. And then 16 print I found in the National Archive and I went to ask the, uh, the, the people there who in charge of this uh, archive, and no one said no, no information, no nothing. And anyway, I, I took, uh, I get a copy of the photo, and I, I check on a, a record, because when I look at the photograph, I saw something that is very strong because of the photograph of the prisoner that uh, taken from the north down to the center, to Bangkok. And it's very strong, it's very, you know, you can feel, you can look at the photograph and, and, and you feel that something, this is, this is a level against the uh, uh, centralization. So I, I, I show this and I, I speak about this, about this, uh, because why I show it, because I want to let the, uh, I mean, send my message that people who, who thought about, I mean, about uh, uh, bring back the absolute monarchy, you have to see that what happened in the history. So, especially today, I don't think people gonna let go, they're gonna let that Thailand gonna go back and that far. So far that we actually, at the moment, we feel that so many things in, in Thailand, in, in politics, you know, went backward, not go forward. So that I, I feel that um, it's really hard, very difficult. And I mean, you have to find a way to, to talk about the issue because still, this is uh, even when you, um, you have, for me, it's especially when you, when you don't want to ally any certain political uh, side. You know, for instance, you know that Thailand, we, uh, the, the, it's polarized into uh, political side, one is pro military and one is pro taxin. And for me, I, I don't pro anyone because I don't think, I don't believe that they, any, any side gonna bring democracy because this is what my belief. And then, and, and each side criticize me that, no, you have to choose. I say, are you, a, are you Bush? Bush would say that if you with me or you against me. Oh no, how come? So this is not, 
I mean, you, for me, that either side, I don't see any, uh, I mean, any, any, any good thing happen. If even uh, the Thaksin that uh, uh, he called himself uh, uh, the democratic uh, prime minister because he, he elected, but you look at like, uh, what happened during after the, the election, his the party nominate the elder princess to be a prime minister. This is shocking for the whole world because <laughs> no one believed that Thaksin is going to come up this plan. Because you know that Thaksin is a, he an opportunist, he a businessman. So he, he himself, he doesn't care what the democracy is about. He just care that if the democracy bring him to the power, he just use the democracy. That is the opportunist. But then what happened? When you look at that, oh, how come? Um, for me, I'm loving, I'm enjoying, because this is when you stay uh, all, you know, the media, they also take side. Each media, they take their own side. They, they use the, the game. They, this be po uh, become a political game. For me, when I look at that, yeah, I enjoy to see what's happening. But then what happened? We have no, no hope, no way out. This is what's going on, the situation now. There's a, a new force, though, in Thai politics, a youth-led force that has shown an interest in harnessing the power of art called Future mm -hmm. Forward. What do you make of that, that new political...? I, I think um, Future Forward, I, when I actually, I, I, have, I, I like them. I like, I mean, the, the young generation. I like them. But the problem is the, uh, the party leader ally with Thaksin, this is a problem. For me, I, I keep telling the future power that you should stop allying with Thaksin. You just go on your own way. You are young, you are new, you have no, you, you have no record. You have no bad record because you just start your, I mean, uh, we we looking for someone who come from, let's say, some, somewhere else to come and run the country because this is the most important because everyone in this game already dirty. Okay, then you have to, to change. Like, you know, when this is, this is very simple. When, uh, when in the game they are so dirty, you, have, you, you can't use the, the, the same old man, I mean, the same old guy. You just have to remove them and put the new, the new guy. And they, they are the new, uh, the new hope. But unfortunately, the, the party leader, the family, they ally with the Thaksin. I say, this is the most mistake that, that they have done, that he, they, uh, he keeps speaking about the Thaksin. Stop. Stop doing that. I mean, if you want to move forward, you, 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 can't, you can't drag the other issue. Otherwise, you know, like, when this, this is a, uh, the uh, strategy that because the future forward won the vote from the tax inside, this is a mistake. Because actually, I believe that if this party just go on their own way, they still have enough, enough vote. Another development since we screened that documentary is Malaysia extradited an exiled woman involved in Thailand's Republican movement. We've seen a prominent Thai dissident in Japan allege he was attacked by someone over there. Two other activists with similar views um, against Republic, like pro-Republican were killed in mysterious circumstances and then dumped in the Mekong. Is it safe for those who voice opposition against these three pillars of power, the government, the royal family and military? I I know my friend who one of the uh, 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 good friend with the guy who got killed in Laos and dumped in the Mekong and he I mean we are quite good friend when over 20 years and he ran to Paris now he lives in Paris um, I know that the situation I don't know uh, I mean who killed who because he's and, and who behind the story and who, I mean, but I can't accuse this in publicly, but I can speak to you even behind this, you know, the scene. But I know that um, uh, 
uh, the power that be could be able to eliminate you easily because if you say something against against them and even they um, their, pe their own people they I mean this has happened to even their own their own people I mean let alone that if you criticize so um, then I, I know that um, the situation is uh, is is very very difficult very hard uh, for and and even the artists that you you watch on the on on TV they they also um, uh, uh, aware of this uh, how brutal you know could could be could happen to to them and I feel sorry for I mean uh, a woman artist you know the uh, performance artist I mean I I know that uh, she been to jail for over two and a half year and I know that uh, the jail had you know and you you from the interview I can see it affect to to her her mind this is uh, I feel sorry she, she she's still young and she had to go through this even though she said she's not afraid of this of that but you, you can feel that you go to this kind of you know uh, uh, injustice you know and then you feel you get anger you you know you get you get angry and and so on so on you know but um, what what can you do right? if you if uh, you ha what you have to do that yeah, you have to do that's for me that if I have to do this I have to do but but just find uh, the way to do it you know um, and stay safe <laughs> <laughs> um, you're featuring um, you know uh, Thai masters of photography from yesteryear um, our films looking at the younger generation um, in both cases they're challenging the kind of moral edicts of the of the monarchy um, in some cases anyway what do you make of, of the work that they're doing do you think it's genuine and effective this, this younger generation of artists that we're talking about in this film uh, I, I, I can't judge them because but I think they're young they have to they have to prove they have they have a long way to go yeah I say sir uh, this is this is uh, um, the uh, when you're young, you young, you have nothing to lose, and then you have to prove that you, who you are, then, you know, there still have way to go that you have to, to, to prove that you are genuine and sincere. And this is uh, the most important to, to the artist that you have to be sincere to yourself first. You know, you have to be true to yourself, you know, and then people can see that maybe um, let's talk about this exhibition you've got out there. Um, it's such an eclectic mix of photos and it's been a real labour of love for you to curate this exhibition. What was it about these photographers that captured your imagination? Um, how are they masters in your eyes? Um, the project, this project, I, I, um, I start with the, the question whether, uh, because I, I also teach uh, in uh, photography, I, and every time when I teach, I have to, I mean, I have to come up with a reference, and the reference is mostly at the Western, uh, Western photographer. So, and then my question, and, and what about us? Do we have any master, our own? And then when I look at uh, uh, the, uh, the history textbook, we don't have that one for me to, to to show to the to to the students, so then I start to dig up the the, the history myself, and I have the benchmark that in 1932 is my benchmark. Why? Because Thailand changed from the absolute monarchy to the democracy. So um, in this way, I look. I want to see that uh, because of uh, a democracy and how democracy relationship between democracy and photography. You know, because of when you realize that in uh, in democracy, the the first thing that you have to realize that you existing, you you realize that you have the right, because in the, in the old day in the absolute monarchy you have no right, but when you have your right, you mean you have to 
to know that you're existing, how you can prove that you are exist in this world. Photography is one of the, the representative that you can leave to us or we can show to the world that you're existing and you and then that is why through this, this, this way I'm slowly that I look uh, and go to the even to uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Photoshop in, uh, in, the, in the village in, in, in the province, something like this, because I want to see how people are exercise, I mean, their, their, own, their own rights and, and they exist, uh, they exist, exist them. So something like this is, uh, and also on, on the other hand, I, I want people to start look back on their own history and to show me what they have. And, and I, I, when I go to, I mean, when I speak, I, I tell people about my project. They start to, I mean, introduce me to a uh, few other uh, local uh, photographer. Then I, I travel and to see. For instance, that uh, the from the Pimai, Pimai the in in the, in the northeast, and also in Phuket, Phuket. And then it's very interesting that um, most of them are from common people. They are just practice uh, photography because they love. And they and also part of that they uh, is a is is a career, and and this and only one he from the royal family, but very the last line of the I mean that that family name, and 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 also luckily that we have monks you know the monk master, this is incredible because of uh, who believe that monk also use photography try to. Uh, teach about the, 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 the Tama, you know. This is uh, in, interesting. So I, I want to change, I want to change a way, uh, I challenge the uh, people that, uh, what the meaning of the master. So this is a way, and also I challenge people to, to think about that, and also want to encourage people to, to dig up their own story, try to keep and, and, uh, and look at their own uh, history because uh, history of common people is very rare and, and because we, we know only the history of the monarchy. I mean the monarchy is, is important everywhere. It's just like you, you, you come on, you are, you are, you are nothing. You, your life is not interest. It's not a people interest. So that is why w I try to, with this exhibition, I want uh, people to to realize that this is an uh, incredible story, and in in doing this way is uh, try to make people aware of, I mean, your own story. This is this is my my hidden I mean uh, agenda. That's why I, I I want to do this. Should we throw it open to the audience? Perhaps does anyone have a question in the audience? What, what um, well, if, oh, yep. uh, thank you for your insights and particularly for this lovely exhibition that you've uh, curated. Uh, it certainly <laughs> presents an opportunity to see another side of Thailand for many people. Um, I just had two, two questions, one very short one perhaps. Um, why did the king close the zoo? Oh, he just won the... Uh, um he, 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 I think he want to return the, the, uh, the land, so... Um, oh, it was a land, uh, uh, yeah, real he, estate he, issue. Yeah, uh -huh. he, I think, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's a, it's a park before or, or not. And I think he want to, to bring it back, the original, probably. I don't know now the plan, mm. because nobody know what, uh, what going on to the, the, uh, the zoo now. And even the parliament, you know, this is, this is for me, is really so absurd because you know what happened? Our Thailand is building the, the, the new pal uh, parliament and it's still under construction. Even after five years, it's still under construction because the corruption is so high and then it's, it delay everything. But then the king won the, the old parliament. It's a, it was a palace. So he won the, the parliament back. And we say, uh, and, and what, are, what are the other, how the MP gonna have the meeting? So finally, what they do? 
they have to go to run the hotel, I mean to rent the hotel to make the meeting. Now they rent the, the, um, the, the meeting, uh, meeting room at the, uh, I mean, uh, our company, you know, the uh, telephone company. And, and you see, for me, it's like, this is absurd. How can you do this? And it means that other, I mean, other business is not important. Other business is not important. And now, if you, if you watch, uh, that, um, maybe they don't uh, uh, show you on television, but sometimes they have the clip, you know, leak out from when the, uh, uh, the new cabinet, uh, you know, uh, pay attention, you know, with, uh, to the king, you know. They have to, you know, in the old days, from the uh, uh, King Ramanai, the father, you just stand up and you bow your head. And no, not today. Today you have to prostrate. You have to go down to the floor. And many of them, old people, old minister, they crawl and then they, uh, oh, I feel that, oh my God, how come we're not a 19th century, you know, absolute monarchy? But now, everything go back at that, that time. And this is from something like this. Is, uh, uh, it's really, you know, disturbing to see what's going on. You know, I feel sorry for, for the country, you know. Maybe uh, that is very funny because I, I, was, I was, someone accused me that I am the loyalist you, I'm the loyalist. I'm saying this. I'm the loyalist. Even say this before. I, I, I uh, yesterday a friend of mine showed me that a comment that how come Manit are uh, uh, include in this program? Manit is uh, the loyalist. I say, oh, I never know that I'm the loyalist. Okay, maybe we have a different different uh, definition. Maybe because you're a professor, you you can have another way of defining the loyalist term. So anyway, it doesn't matter because I know what I'm doing. And I know that how far I can go. And I know that the step that I'm going now is very sensitive. And even I don't know how far I can go. And no one want to talk about this. No other artists want to talk about this. Only the artists uh, can do. Now you can criticize, I mean, Prayut government, you can criticize. Do whatever you want to do. But if you go further than that, it's a, a real danger going to be there. Yeah, I just, um, I, I've observed that there's, uh, I think, a, a sort of renaissance of Buddhism now occurring, particularly among younger people. Um, have you observed that yourself, or do you see that as a possibility uh, to also combat uh, the situation? Um, I think you were optimistic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm I, observing. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, if I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also uh, um, there's a monks that who really try to uh, do good thing, you know, but because of. Uh, in 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 the past year, past year that uh, also the um, uh, the I mean the monks also uh, in in the community also slipped out of the way, you know they became so very materialistic, you know, and even create a temple, you know they're so into that kind of uh, money. It's a money business. Uh, and lately that um, uh, one temple, as you know, that the Tamakaya uh, bust by the uh, uh, government. And, and because of they too big, they too big to fall. This is uh, one of the, uh, one of the temple. Uh, because of uh, we, uh, the, the Thai, ho the, the whole of the Thai society, uh, you know, so slip out the, the middle way too far, and I mean, I know that some monk, even this is a Buddha Dasa himself, try to uh, bring back 
the original meaning of the I mean from uh, what the, uh, the the Buddha teaching is about. You know, this is uh, there. There's some good uh, people that they want to try to to do thing about uh, the the religion. We've got a question over there. And in the film, um, it showed that you have a cinema in Bangkok, but you're not allowed to show your own film, um, but that you're trying to fight that in the courts. Are you having any success with that? Uh, I've been waiting for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, you have to be patient when you deal with the, uh, with the court. Uh, and in Thailand, it's, um, I mean, it's very, it's, um, I mean, delay justice, I mean, um, is uh, injustice in itself. So I am still waiting for that, and I don't know because maybe uh, the issue may shifting from it because in 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 the movie, if you know Macbeth, right? They have a debate you know, in a, in a, um, when the uh, the cow prince debate about uh, to uh, approach by. Uh, the uh, general want him to become the king, and this is the debate. He's talking. I mean, uh, the the cow prince, you know, come up with quick do some very you know s criticizing himself that he uh, very bad, blah blah blah, and also very you know um, uh, um, uh, do this thing that you may not be able to accept. And this is seen that now I'm worried about that because. Even though now uh, we hope that when uh, the, the coronation pass, maybe the, uh, the the court might deliver, might uh, uh, deliver the verdict, you know, the conviction. Uh, but but then we're still waiting for that because of uh, we know that the some scene in in the movie also might problematic to the monarchy, and certain scene is a is a problem for. The politician, and now certainly problem with the monarchy. So I don't know whether I, uh, they're gonna let me uh, release the, me out from the from the court soon. Ma uh, just to finish off on some inspirational kind of notes, like Malaysia has issues itself with sedition in the past. Les Majest, you know, galleries have seen artworks you know, um, cloths being put over artworks when higher-ups aren't happy with the work. So Malaysia has faced some similar issues as well. Um, you know, what words of encouragement do you have for perhaps, you know, young creatives here and throughout Southeast Asia in kind of navigating the challenges that we talked about in the film, but also, you know, this issue that's widespread? Um, I, I think the First thing that for 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 let's say for young artists or or, or, or artists who want to uh, work uh, on this field, uh, you you have to you have to prepare yourself. You know that uh, uh, I you have to you have to clear first. You have to clear your mind. You have to know what you're doing. And you have to be true to yourself, as I say already. Okay, and also you have to be aware that what the consequences could, I mean, could come to you, and and also because of you're an artist, you can you can you can play, you can use your art in a in a smart way. I think that uh, uh, that that how artists can can talk about. I mean, the, or criticize uh, something like this that you have to be smart, you know. Uh, well, we're about to finish, but just to, um, where else are we going to see your work this year? I think you've got an exhibition coming up in Bangkok at the BACC. What projects do you have in the pipeline? Uh, um, next, next week, um, uh, I will, um, they, at the BACC where I... Uh, I fight for to for to get the the building done and uh, the the foundation form. Uh, they are going to have a, a show called Lift, you know, 
Rift uh, is um, is about the uh, the survey of the uh, emerging of the uh, Thai contemporary art from from the 90s. They include my, one of my work, the Pink Man. I mean, the begin of the Pink Man in that uh, exhibition, and also uh, with the other uh, artists, you know, including Montien Bunma, who already passed away. I think this is a uh, um, it's good if you go to Bangkok and you should visit the uh, the exhibition. You will see that, um, yeah, it's how art at that time, uh, you know, uh, came up. You know. Well, like Ilham, it's a fantastic space. Um, thank you, Manit. Thank you, David, for joining us. And thank you all for coming. And I'm sure if you've got any other further questions, Manit will be more than happy to answer them for you. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you.